Everyone loves warm floors when the weather gets cold outside, and I know from personal experience that warmth coming up through your feet is a beautiful thing. This is why in-floor heating is getting more popular all the time. But the trouble is, and I know this from personal experience, that actually installing in-floor heating can be troublesome, especially in retrofit or renovation situations. And all this is why a new, and I think more reliable form of electric in-floor heating caught my eye. It's called Dietra Heat, and it's been used successfully in Europe since 2012. It comes from the German tile accessory manufacturer, Schluter Systems, and if you remember, they're the same people that invented modern uncoupling membranes that improve the reliability of ceramic and porcelain tile floors. So there are three main parts to the Dietra Heat system. A dimpled uncoupling membrane that makes the entire floor installation much more crack resistant. Electric heating cables that snap precisely into place between the raised sections of the uncoupling membrane during on-site installation. A programmable thermostat system that monitors floor temperature, adjusting heat output to match. As you can see here, the tiles sit immediately above the heating cables for rapid and effective heat transfer. You can really feel the heat coming up through a floor like this. And it also functions without one of the biggest risks of in-floor heating systems that I've installed in other situations. Damaged wires and failure to heat is the biggest risk with electric in-floor heating systems, especially mat style systems. Back in 2007, it's exactly what happened with one of my own building projects. It had a mat style system installed in the floor and less than one year after installation, it failed with no warranty support from the manufacturer at all. I've heard from a handful of homeowners over the years with the same problems too. And that's one reason why Schluter's 10 year warranty on Dietra Heat impressed me so much. If the floor stops heating nine years, 364 days after proper installation, Schluter tells me that they will replace the whole floor, tiles, labor, and everything, and make it right again. And the same warranty applies if cracked tiles or loose grout develop too. Modern uncoupling membranes were invented back in 1987 as a way of improving the reliability of porcelain and ceramic tile floor installations. But they do this work in a way that's really easy to misunderstand. While it's obvious that tiles need to be supported vertically so that they don't flex and crack, what's less obvious is the way the installation needs to be designed to resist horizontal movements caused by different rates of expansion between the subfloor and the tile installation itself. Uncoupling membranes allow small amounts of the side-to-side -side movement so the tiles themselves and the grout stay in better shape and crack resistant. Now the Dietra heat uncoupling membrane works exactly the same way, except it's configured to allow the heating cables to snap right in on the top. Use modified thinset mortar if you're installing Dietra over a wooden subfloor and unmodified thinset if you're working over concrete. Later on, you'll use unmodified to secure the tiles to the top of the Dietra heat membrane. Besides the ability to customize every tile installation, no matter what it is on site, the thing that impresses me most about the Dietra heat system is the way the wires snap into the top of the uncoupling membrane in a way that protects them physically, while also keeping them very close to the underside of the tile, so you really feel all the warmth that's coming through. Close proximity to the underside of the tiles gives optimal heat conduction up into your feet, and when those wires snap into place, they're just below the dimples on the top of the mat, so they're unlikely to suffer any sort of damage once the wires are snapped into place. Installers are also required to electrically test the whole installation just to make sure it's working okay before the tiles go down. Care does need to be taken when applying tile mortar with a notch trowel, but like I said, the wires are protected below the surface of the membrane, so the whole arrangement is quite reliable by design. As you might expect, the entire Dietra heat system is controlled by a programmable thermostat, but in addition to preset times when temperatures rise and fall, there's also something called anticipated start. This works by bringing floor temperature up to a preset level by a certain time, instead of just switching on the heat at a certain pre-programmed time. So you wanna wake up to a full room temperature at say 6.30 a.m., 
The system learns how much earlier than this it needs to switch on in order to get your feet and your room warm to the level that you set at the time you set it. People living within floor heating systems will tell you that they feel more comfortable at overall lower room temperatures than when heat is delivered by forced air systems. Now I know this is true because that's what I've found after I've installed in-floor heating at my own house. Now it's one thing to be able to reduce room temperature by several degrees and still feel comfortable, but for me the biggest benefit of in-floor heating is the way that warmth comes right up through the floor. It feels so great. It's almost enough to make you like winter.